In this video, we are going to learn all about chords and circles. If you have a circle, a chord is a line segment that connects two points on the circle, just like this. If you had one circle that had two different chords in it that happened to be the same length, so suppose they were each length eight, what that would mean is that the two arcs that they intersect this arc and this arc always have to be the same measurement. So if these points were A, B, C, and D, what this means is that the measure of arc AB will always equal the measure of arc DC. So basically the idea is congruent arcs mean congruent chords and vice versa. That's why I have the arrow pointing in both directions. If you have two chords that are the same, then the arcs will be the same. And if both arcs were the same, that would mean that the chords have to be the same as well. So that's the first thing that you need to know about chords, an interesting property. A second property about chords is if you have a circle with one chord in it, and you want to figure out the perpendicular bisector of that chord. Remember, a perpendicular bisector is a line that bisects another line, so it cuts it in half, and meets it at a right angle. So that's why they're perpendicular. So if we drew in our perpendicular bisector, so it bisects it and this is a right angle, that perpendicular bisector will always be a diameter of the circle. It will always go through the center of the circle. And this works for any chord and any perpendicular bisector of the chord. So perpendicular bisector of chords are always diameters. That's another property of chords. Now there's a similar property to that one that if you have a circle, and in that circle we have a diameter and a chord that are perpendicular, then it has to be the case that that diameter bisects the chord and bisects the arc. So that means that this will be, arc will be congruent to this arc right there. So basically, if you ha know that there's a right angle right here, these other two things have to be the case as well. So if a diameter and a chord are perpendicular, then the diameter will bisect the chord and the arc. Now there's one other important property you need to know about chords. And that is, if we again have a circle with two chords in it that are congruent, these two chords will be equidistant from the center of the circle. And that means that the segments that connect the center of the circle to each chord with a perpendicular angle, so these two segments right here, those segments are always going to be congruent. So congruent chords are always equidistant from the center of the circle. And this would be true for any circle. And remember again that this word equidistant just means the same distance away from. So all of these properties of chords and theorems about chords are important to know just to help you to solve problems that are related to chords and circles.